Welcome to the Good Vibes Oracle YouTube channel. And in this video, I will talk about aligning with your desires for faster manifestations. When you're manifesting and you want to bring things into your life, you must align yourself and your thoughts with what you want. Keeping your vibrations high and staying in alignment are both important parts of the manifestation process. Today I will give you tips on how to raise your vibrations and align with your desires to manifest more of what you want. To be in alignment with your desires means in line with or parallel to what you're manifesting. Meaning that you are on the same vibration as what you want. Being on the same vibration allows for your manifestation to be pulled towards you energetically. In other words, alignment sets the tone for you to attract what you want. The process of aligning means that opportunities are being primed by the universe for your desires to manifest. When you are aligning with your desires, the right conditions, situations, and people are being positioned for your manifestations to happen. One of your main goals should be to align yourself and your thoughts with your desires to increase those manifestations. A good way to stay in alignment is to be mindful of your words. So take notice of what you're saying, the words you use, the types of conversations that you have, how you generally speak on a daily basis and the words that you take in. Your words are very powerful. Words can uplift and build. They can also influence your thoughts. Words have the power to motivate and create action, just as they also have the power to unravel and destroy things. So be careful of the things you talk about and your choice of words. You will begin to act and think in the way that you talk. If your intent is to manifest money, if you're always saying you can't afford or things cost too much or things like I always end up short, those types of words and statements do not put your mind in the belief that money is within reach. This kind of talk introduces scarcity and lack into your belief system. Think about some of the things that you talk about on a daily basis. Think about how you describe those things. Sometimes when we're talking and we're in conversations, when we talk, it's like we are illustrating or we're describing a movie scene. Talk in the way that you want that movie scene to play out. So watch your words. Watch the words that you use and how you use them. The things that you say influence your thoughts and your thoughts turn into actions. What you say what you read and what you take in through other media like television and videos, streaming media, those things can change your beliefs. How you say things affect how and what you manifest. So take the time to use your words in positive ways. Your words affect how you live and what you believe. Saying things like, I can't stand my job. Or, this traffic is so awful that it's going to make me late. I'd eat healthier if healthy food tasted good. I never have any time to myself. Saying things like this can cause you to believe exactly what you're saying. And you will in turn attract these situations and more situations like them by actually speaking them into your life. This kind of talk keeps your vibrations very low. 
and takes you out of alignment with your desires. So it hinders the manifestation process for you. So if you believe that you are manifesting your desires, show it in the words that you use. Say what you mean and mean exactly what you say. Your words can actually change your whole attitude. You think about, become, and believe the things that you talk about. Thoughts and actions change when your words change. Your mood can improve over time by learning to change your words when you're talking about certain things. For instance, I have more than I need. I have money everywhere. I've got this all worked out. Or this will work out for me. Or things are working in my favor. Sometimes little tweaks like this will give us all that we need to speed up our manifestations or give us that little boost to change a situation. Changing your words introduces you to a new perspective. It helps you to have better thoughts and energetically motivates different actions in your life. So changing the old way of speaking to I love my job and new opportunities have come my way. I practice breathing exercises in the car and now I am more balanced and on time. Being creative in the kitchen helps me to make great tasting healthy meals. And I create time for myself every day and I love it. Flipping negative words and statements around helps you to raise your vibrations and works to align your energy with your desires for better and quicker manifestations. So be grateful for these new changes and feel good emotionally about what you're saying and how you're saying it. What kind of things do you listen to on a daily basis? What kind of conversations do you have? What kind of people do you talk to? The words that you read and hear are just as important as your own spoken words. So to keep your vibrations high, make sure you protect yourself from negative words from outside sources, such as other people, books, television shows, streaming media. Surround yourself around and socialize with people that encourage and uplift instead of those that are complaining and gossiping. This means that you may have to set boundaries so others will know how to talk to you and talk around you. When you set these boundaries with others, they will learn during the process about their own words and how their words affect their lives and the lives of others. Create new things and new ideas with new words. Use uplifting, positive and happy words to help motivate your thoughts and to change your vibrational energy. Your thoughts will be directed towards better things. Good experiences will be created with these new words. If you want an abundant life, speak abundant things into it. Any words that you may currently use that are considered low vibrational may be changed starting today. Begin by changing words of anger, complaining, gossiping, judgment, and talk of impatience, lack, and scarcity to peaceful words affirmations. Change them to words that are positive and uplifting along with words of optimism, gratitude, and abundance. But I will say that there will also be times when not saying anything is just as important as choosing the right words to say. Sometimes silence really is golden. If you don't know what to say, think about it first. If nothing comes to mind, silence will work at that time until you find a word or a statement an affirmation that fits what you need to describe. 
As you practice changing your words, you will notice that things will begin to shift. Your words will change and good things will flow from you while your desires come to you. Your thoughts and actions will change. Your vibrations will be high and your alignment will be steady. You will notice how things are changing, how things start to work in your favor. You will manifest quicker and abundantly. As you focus on abundance, your thoughts will promote actions to attract more abundance into your life. Your thoughts and actions will change as your words change. To experience more abundance and faster manifestations, write, speak, think, and even focus on abundant things. Work on changing your words to be more positive and think about what you say and how you say it. Take inventory of what you absorb from other people, books, and electronic and digital media. Words are powerful and influence actions and beliefs. Your own words can affect your thoughts, actions, and even your moods. Your words affect your vibrational energy, your alignment, and ultimately your manifestations. So to bring more of what you want into your life, make sure your words promote your desires. Let your words work for you. Let your words bring your manifestations into your life.